This uh, second um, image is a little, little bit more awkward in that we've got some netting down the side of this boat which is quite intricate uh, and it might look odd if it isn't masked properly so we're going to use a different technique here or actually a, a combination of two. So first of all we'll just do a general selection so just increase the brush size and just go round the boat There we go, and the netting. We'll take it out to the edge there, and all the way along. There we go, and just come down the edge here, make sure that's selected. And what I want to do is uh, take out these little holes here. So hold the Alt key down, uh, reduce the size. and just make uh, selections in here now let's just reduce it again get into the little nooks and crannies there and same with this here Okay, same here, again reduce, there we go, and I think we're about there, let's have a look, that looks about right, let's just quickly turn on the quick mask, that looks good, I've probably gone over the netting here a little bit too much. I just want the edge of it so let's just move along and just make sure we've just got uh, the edges we want okay good now what I want to do is um, store this selection because I, I will need it later so what I can do is, um, if I go to the channel uh, tab, come down, you'll see this pixel selection. So, and you, you, you can actually see it's showing uh, the boat there. So what we'll do is we'll click on that and we'll say create spare channel. There's the spare channel, it's basically a duplicate of that selection. Just right click on it and I normally rename it give it something uh, reasonable so let's just call it foreground there we go so that's now been uh, stored so what I can do now is just uh, deselect and if I want it back I can just click on foreground and say load pixel selection and there it comes back again which is great right so what I want to do is, is capture this netting and uh, the way we're going to do that is I'm going to use um, Threshold. So if we click on that you can see basically um, it's either black or white depending on uh, the brightness of the area. So as we can see it, the sky is bright so it's white but also the side of the boat here is, is quite bright but what I'm really interested in is just this netting down here and what I can do is if I change the threshold if I pull it up you can see more things uh, becoming white and if I push it the other way more things will get black and what I want is, is a nice balance here that I can see that the the netting i.e. these black areas will become part of the mask so if I just move that up I think that looks about right um, obviously here is the foreground and I can tell if I just switch that on and off okay that's actually quite a good guide right, so I'm happy with that and we want to add this to the mask basically so 
what we can do um, because this is a, an adjustment I need this black and white image so if I merge uh, visible I've now got a, a pixel based uh, image and I don't actually need this threshold anymore so I can delete that and what I want to do is, is paint the rest of this in black and that would be awkward if I didn't have already uh, the selection of the boat so if I select the boat pick my paintbrush make sure it's set to black make sure I'm on the right pixel layer and you can see now I can paint and keep within quite quite uh, roughly and just keep within the uh, confines of the uh, of the boat itself so I can be quite rough with this and I'll just quickly take this out down the bottom and now I need to just concentrate on this area here so this can definitely be all black and basically this is the, the uh, on the foreground so I don't need that in the mask because that's um, and if I turn that on and off we want the, the skies up here so anything here can be completely black and there we go just take that out take this part out here out let's just have another look yeah so basically this bit here can go and there we go that's pretty much it so now we've got effectively a mask um, I can turn off the uh, selection now but it's the wrong way around um, we want to mark you know black wall uh, reveal and we want to reveal the sky so we just come up to uh, layer and we just say invert now we've got the inversion of that so we've got all the netting there all that intricate netting and what I want to do here is basically say um, uh, rasterize it to a mask now that's a mask but what we we only want the mask to affect the boat so let's just drag it to the side and onto the uh, boat and now the other sky's coming through but you can also see that all the netting is perfectly rendered there and if I pick up the tool move tool I can move the sky around and you can see it um, uh, nicely inside the netting as well as behind the boat and that's basically how you can combine um, selection painting uh, using a filter like like threshold uh, to make up the mask draw your mask and then apply it to the photo one last thing before we go um, when you are doing a sky replacement really you should try and pick a, a sky that matches tonally with with the foreground um, in this case this is looking very blue and pink compared to to the foreground so what i might want to do is is on the sky is just add a uh, gradient map and what I'll do is I'll just, I just want to start and end so I'll pick a colour, pick a dropper and I'll just pick it off a darker area of the boat there we go so that's now a dark brown and if we look at the light area again pick off the boat but I'll pick a lighter um, area let's say here and add that in uh, there is a separate video on this and what we need to do is just change it to uh, let's say soft light or maybe overlay overlay might be better now I'm adding tones from the boat into into the sky and if you find it too much just drop the opacity um, so that's nothing and then turning it back on if it's not enough just duplicate it and it will make it darker that might be a little bit too much so again drop the opacity until you reach 
uh, the tones you actually want to include. Thank you.